Hell yeah. As somebody who's been into shoes and streetwear for quite a while, I've reached a point in my life that I never thought I'd get to. And that is, I finally feel bad about reselling something. Now, if you're into those worlds, you kind of know the whole idea of reselling. You acquire a product that is in short supply, the demand is massive, and you resell it for a profit. If somebody wants to give me three or four times the original cost of a pair of shoes or an item of clothing, that's on them. You know, it's, as I said, the supply will never meet the demand, and to profit off it is basic economics. Now, I've been into to Bape for, well, nearly, well, I want to say close to 20 years. 2001, 2002 is when I started buying Bape from Japan. Uh, I saw James Lavelle from Uncle wearing it on a t-shirt on a Global Underground album cover, and I just wanted to get in on the ground floor with it. So I did. Spent most of the noughties buying up Bape hoodies and t-shirts. If you don't know, Bape is a Japanese clothing brand, and it's short for a bathing ape. A bathing ape in lukewarm water is a term used to describe lazy youths in Japan who are obsessive about collecting things and are also quite complacent and just basically lazy in their everyday life. It's an ironic twist on the people who actually consume the label and it says a lot about me as a person who buys a lot of it. So the reason I feel conflicted and that I'm kind of pretty much making this video is that I saw a post on Facebook recently, just this past weekend, and it was in a bait buying and selling group and it was a guy looking for a specific t-shirt and he wanted collaborations that were done with either the Godfather movie franchise or Scarface. Now the Scarface collab was in 2006 and I can remember being in New York on a trip and dropping into the uh, Bape store and buying one of the t-shirts. Obviously this is what this guy is looking for. So I have a look online and I see that these t-shirts are going for massive money. In brand new condition, that is, dead stock condition. Mine isn't. I've worn it maybe two or three times over the years, maybe three or four, I don't know. All white, red Scarface logo on it. There were picture tees with Tony Montana on it, but these ones were just the Scarface font written in camo and a back print of like the world is yours struggling. I don't know what I'm talking, I might as well just show it to you. This is what it looks like. Scarface, red camo, nothing all that amazing. Back print of the trophy thing. Now, as you can see, this is worn, this is a 12 year old t-shirt, right? See the neck? Little bit scummy, I don't have a dirty neck, I promise I really don't, but it's just been washed, it's kind of yellowed over time. Also the armpits, maybe, you know, could be a little bit fresher, but hey look, I'm a boy, I sweat, that's the way it is. As I said, worn maybe a handful of times, not a whole lot. Grand, says you, right? That's a 12 year old t-shirt. It's been worn, it's been sweating, it's been washed, it's marked. The guy offered me 150 euro for it. 150 euro for a 12 year old t-shirt. I don't know how I feel about that. I kind of feel like I'm ripping the kid off. And I kind of feel, have we reached critical mass now in terms of reselling items of clothing that really aren't worth all that at all? You see kids buying Supreme box logos uh, that are like, you know, vintage things that the print is all cracked on and they're paying thousands for it. And I just don't know if I'm okay with that. I don't know if I'm down with that. I'm gonna to talk to some people who have no idea about any of this, who think that this is just a white t-shirt with some red writing on. I wanna see what they value it at. 150 euro for a 12 year old stained worn t-shirt. I don't know if I can do it. Uh, five, five, four euro, four euro, four euro is it? I would probably not pay very much for it maybe if it was somebody that i thought was interested in scarface then maybe um and it was kind of possibly a value 50 euro i do like the movie you dirty cockroach um but does it not look a little bit like the kind of ones you walk into pennies and you see kind of you know remakes of popular culture stuff i mean it's a nice t-shirt but at 10 or 10 or 15 quid 30 40 ish euro i would say that because it's a classic film. Uh, 15, 20 euro. I'm going to say that somebody who likes these kind of authentic movie t-shirts would maybe pay 60 euro for it. But if this was somewhere between 50 and 80 quid, I know somebody that would lose their shit over this. If it was brand spanking Bon White, I wouldn't give you 15 quid for it. Do you know what I mean? It could have come off the roll at pennies. What would you say if I told you somebody just paid 150 euro for it? I'd be surprised, but I know if you're into this and you know, if you're really into the movie, I suppose, but I mean, surely you could you could make that yourself in one of the print design shops in town, like you could get a logo put on for a lot less than that. Is there something about the material or something? Uh, no, unless it has some sort of sentimental value, no, I wouldn't pay 150 quid for this. I wouldn't say it's mental. Obviously someone had a reason to pay that much for it. But if I was to walk into say a vintage shop or a second hand shop, like I would ex be expecting like 30, 40, 50 max. 
Yeah, <laughs> out of my price packet, but uh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me in the least. Yeah, yeah but I, I wouldn't. For that, are they a massive Al Pacino fan or? I think it's a small bit mental because I'd say you could probably get something similar for less if you shopped around. Yeah, I would believe it. The stains would worry me slightly. Like, has it been washed? Are it you has. sure? It has. On a 60 degree wash. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. A 12 year old stain worn white poxy t shirt with a bit of writing on it. Nobody in their right mind would value that at 150 euro. But it's a seller's market. That you don't get them anymore for that price. I've seen them online for 500 quid. Some dude wants to give me 150 euro. Should I take it? Damn right I should. <laughs>